Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video real quick on the projector I have and what a typical kind of process looks like getting ready to use it and what apps. Um, this is the projector I am loving right now. I had the Pika or Pico Pocket and it just had such a small projection space that it was impossible to work with. And it actually ended up breaking and I had to run last minute to Best Buy and I found this one and I love, love, love it. It's not Bluetooth, so you do have to have a wire and an adapter, and I'll link those below, to connect to your computer, iPad, or iPhone. However, it is charged and it has an amazing battery life. However, sometimes if I'm using it for a while, I'll go ahead and just leave it plugged in while I'm using it, so I don't have to worry about it dying. Um, here's the stand I use. I love it, super lightweight. I can, it's malleable, and I like that I can move it wherever and you don't have to attach it to the side of your counter. So this is the image, it's pretty large. See, it's almost taking up the whole paper. And it's cause I turned my iPad sideways, which I always recommend, just a bigger space. See, so look at the difference. See how it got smaller? And then I turn it landscape style and the whole image projection is bigger. So these are the two apps that I really, really use, the only apps I use. So we'll start if, say, I'm just gonna put something on a cookie um, and it's an image I have from the internet, whatever, someone sent me, so be it. Um, so I just did these the other day. Just press okay, it gives me that tip all the time. And then so there's the projection. It's huge, right? What I love about this app is that it's so easy to play with and you can turn the image, you can do whatever. So I usually size it on my cookie, whatever I need to do, line it up. But it, I just, it's so, so easy. Um, easier than trying to size the image and then projecting it. It's nice to always be able to move something so easily. So there's that. So say I want to um, use a new font. And many of you know this, but for those of you who don't, download this, it's free. I actually paid for the ad-free version of this. I think it was like $12 and it's worth it to me. So here's Fonto, that's free. I haven't purchased any upgrades. So I'm gonna go to the internet. I'm gonna go to defont.com. And then let's do, not that I would ever do that because that would be time consuming <laughs> with all the dots, but if I wanted to, um, I'm going to hit download. Yes, download. And it pop up. It went up there into my downloads folder. I'm going to click that. Let's look at it. And here's my downloads folder. And it's right up here. I'm going to press and hold. I'm going to press share. And I'm going to share it to Fonto. It's gonna take me to Fonto. I'm gonna press install. Yep, and it's done that fast. So when you get to Fonto, let me exit out like I was coming into it for the first time. It's gonna look like this. And you're like, what do I do? Go down here to this camera, press plain image. I always use black, it's just easier to see. There it is, press this, use, and there it is. There's your image. So I'm gonna press add text, and let's say hello. And you can center it if you're doing multiple lines, you know, maybe, let me see. Maybe you want it centered so you can do all that, you can align it center. Okay, for font, they have all the fonts that came with it like you would on a computer. And then here's my fonts in a folder below. Um, I don't remember the name of the one we did. Oh, here it is, Baby Olivia. So there it is. Done, there it is. So I guess you could project it from here. I like to kind of move it. So I go ahead and press the share button down here and save image. Cool, it's done. And then I go back to camera Lucinda and I just drag it from my um, image folder. So see mine always like projects backwards. So I rotate it and then I can 
play with it super easy. All right, I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.